So my name is Brian Frazier Moore. I'm from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I grew up in church, and uh, then I started, yeah, then I started um, working. I used to be a journalist, actually. Can you believe it? I used to be a journalist, and then I went on tour with Jazzy Jeff for the Fresh Prince, and it changed my life, and I wanted to pursue it. But what I want to talk to you guys about tonight is uh, some of the steps on pursuing it. A lot of you guys really want to pursue and do what you want to do in this music industry, correct? Yeah. 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 Right. So you, do you get stuck sometimes? Do you say, what am I doing? Why is this not working? I'm practicing 50 hours a day. These are questions that you have, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. We're going to go through some of that tonight. All right, we're going to bring you up on the kit. I'm going to play some songs. <laughs> You're playing with Madonna tomorrow. Was mm -hmm. there a point when um, you were kind of like, oh, I hope Madonna really approaches me at some point, or I don't know, what, how did it come about, really? I guess that's the simplest uh, way of saying getting it. Getting that call? Yeah. Let me take you back. Before that, Justin Timberlake was in the studio working with her. Justin Timberlake and the musical director said, man, who are we going to get to play these songs, man? We who gonna get for Madonna to play these songs? Cause this record is Kanye West. This record is Pharrell. And Justin put my name in the mix. So it was a blessing. Goes back once again, your social media, everything that you put out in the world, how nice you are to people, taking care of your business, being approachable, being approachable, being approachable, being humble, all of these things come into play. So I think if I hadn't followed those footsteps, maybe that opportunity to go would have went to somebody else. It's kind of hard not to notice, like, a lot of social media from drummers is a bit um, recycled, a bit repetitive. Like, there's a lot of the same kind of educational stuff, a lot of the same kind of performance-based stuff. How do you stand out in such a wash, in such an obscure kind of field as a drummer? There's tons of musicians out here. How do you stand out? How do you chop it? I don't have many chops, so I ain't gonna get no, <laughs> I ain't gonna get nowhere with that. But maybe out thinking, maybe my presentation, maybe every time I put a video up on social media that it looks great or interesting, or maybe I'll send a word of an encouragement. But you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a, a new look at it, refocus, see who's in charge of what, who's moving what, who's doing this, and try to get them on that end. to fills down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Break some of those down a little bit. I was just wondering how important are fills or chops to you as you're playing all these big arrangements? It's so important. Say for instance, like, uh, did anyone see uh, Justin Timberlake, that Justin Timberlake tour? Yeah. You saw it? All right, so say for instance, like that's a live, that's a, like a live band, like they like to play and play. So it'd be like, um, 
Are you comfortable? Right there, right there. Let the crew get in. And the music goes directly. It's comfortable, we'll say. Right, right there. Ba -da -ba -da -bum, ba -ba -bum. It's like, all right. Let me dissect this right here because I can really dig into this. Most people say, I'm just going to play over top of what's going on. I say, how can I get the ba da ba da ba 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 which causes me to go into my, my pocket of fills and figure out what's the best what's the best thing. So it's extremely important, and it's the only time that you can really consistently get to express during the show is in those little sections like that where you have two bars that you have to play something. Let me try to put this in here. Let me try to flip that in there. So it's very important to me. That's, that's our only lifeline without being stuck. See you guys right after this. Cool? Yeah. All right. Just like to play. If you see people like like them, they're just normal people and they do great stuff. So it's just encouraging. Yeah. Normally you play in a practice room and it's always like a bit, oh, I have to practice. And you know, I love drumming <laughs> anyway, but if you can play with such an, a big name, it's just, just huge for me. Yeah. It was a very huge pleasure.